college. Then uh, DeSantis taps me to uh, uh, be a trustee at New College of Florida. Uh, I send out a, a email, uh, a publication on Substack and Twitter, saying the first thing that we need to do is we need to start a trustees meetings in prayer. Do you guys know how, I don't need to tell you about New College, you know how liberal and I don't think you really know how liberal it is. They, they say that over 50% of the students are in the LGBTQ letters. It's a ridiculous number of students. So there is a, an indoctrination machine that had, had been, praise God, had been there for a number of years kicking out victims. Victims in search of a villain. Victims in search of a villain, which euphemistically is called a community organizer. Okay, you see where I'm going. And in the end is a radical Marxist. And that's what they're, that's what they were doing. It's, it's just that simple. So anyway, I, I said, uh, we're going to have uh, prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. The lawyer and the chair of the board of trustees said no. And as soon as I said that, then they're, you know, they're real quiet in their responses. Um, we, can't, we can't do that. Um, yeah, sorry, it's, it's not legal. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. And I didn't wait to have this discussion for them to drag this whole thing out. I sent it immediately out there on Substack added and Twitter and send it right directly to the school and to the newspapers and saying I'm calling for the firing of the lawyer because he doesn't know the law right. and we're calling for the chair to be removed and we're also calling for the president to be removed and guess what happened at the very next meeting all those things <laughs> by God's grace mm -hmm. and I'm not going to say I'm the only one DeSantis obviously brilliant beautiful move putting all, us all in there. Richard Corcoran has done a fantastic job, but he wasn't there until we got him there. Um, and then the next thing that we did is even before that, well, oh, there's so many things that happened here. So you, how many people, I'm just curious, because I had not, my head had been down in to Inspiration Academy for 10 years. And I looked up, and then next thing I, you know, I'm in this meeting and I, I, I want to go meet with the students. And I hear that this other guy is meeting with the students, and his name is Chris Rufo. Oh, How many yeah. of you guys have heard of Chris Rufo before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had not heard of him. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Sorry. I, I, I just bought his book. It, it, I love the intro, and I love the first chapter so far. But next thing you know, I'm like, we need to meet these people. This is just common leadership. If you're going to make changes, you've got to tell people. You've got to stand behind your decisions. And so let's have a town hall. And so we had a town hall. And then I sent that message out saying that we need to pray. And then before the town hall, there's a death threat that comes against me. You blankety blank, better wear a flag jacket, you blankety blank. So they tried to shut down the entire meeting because of that. And then there's a famous, it's famous, I don't know. Uh, it was widely distributed video of uh, me and Chris Rufo. Chris Rufo, what a brilliant orator. Oh my goodness. I didn't know anything. He starts talking in that meeting. I'm like, oh, this guy's good. <laughs> wow. Where'd you get all this stuff? This is good. It was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, but we didn't, she tried to shut down the meeting. But please understand, they're trying to shut down the meeting based on a threat that was against me. And I'm like, no, we need to have this meeting. Do you understand that this is the heckler's veto? And next thing you know, whoever threatens any kind of violence whatsoever shuts down all discussion and debate, shuts down the entire Democrat, democratic uh, process that we hold dear. No, we're not going to do that. There, is there a threat? Perhaps. I don't know. But it sounds like it's against me and not everybody else in the school. And so what we ended up doing is they tried to shut it down, and we were in a discussion back and forth. Rufo's trying to talk to people, and I walked outside, and the cops were there. You can't go outside. And I'm like, wait, you, you're, you're saying I can't go outside? Because all the crowd was out there. Three different cop, you know, there's Bradenton, Sarasota SWAT. There's three different units that have the whole place covered. You couldn't be more safe than this. Oh, my goodness, are you kidding me? So they're trying to keep me in. I'm like, wait, you can't keep, okay, okay, I got an idea. And here's the idea. We're going to go out there because you can't keep me in here. We're going out there and we're having this meeting 
They're trying to shut, us, shut the meeting down, which is the beginning of the discussion and debate that needs to take place. Americans can disagree with each other. We don't need the nanny state telling us what can be said and can't be said. It's an important concept that's worth the risk. And so I went out there and I said, no, uh, we're, we're going to do this. And I looked at Chris Rufo and I said, Chris, uh, let's go outside. And Chris, he's like, yes, let's do it. And then so he went out there and said, we're having this meeting outside unless, and then they got wise. And then I was telling the administrators, look, this is on you now if something happens. We're set up to be secure inside, but we're, going, we're having this one way or another, and you can't keep us from having it. Next thing you know, they're like, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we'll come back. Come on back. This is safer. Because um, anyway, that's what happened. We had a great meeting, and the process started. Next is athletics. Um, so I sent out uh, a, a tweet and told them all, we're going to have, a, you know, let's start athletics and let's have it. Uh, we need a mascot. <laughs> Guess, oh, you're right. Wow. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have athletics. And I, I got to tell you what I wanted to name the school, but it didn't go there, is Patriots. New College oh! Patriots. I did. I did. I wanted it back. I wanted it back. And then I wanted Trailblazers, but we ended up with the Mighty Banyans. But we ended up with something, and we took uh, my buddy who I've been mentoring for 10 years. And if you hear the story about Mario Jimenez, at some point I'd love to bring him by. He's an amazing man of God. He's just an amazing uh, American and just a fantastic guy. But uh, I'd been mentoring him and he, uh, at Inspiration Academy. He had been our baseball coach. And... Uh, then I said, I think, I think you need to be over here and start athletics over here. Um, and he didn't want to. I'm like, no, I, I think this is bigger. I think this is important. Um, and he said, okay. So he met with Richard Corcoran and worked out a deal. And now we've got record enrollment at New College of Florida. Better enrollment that they've ever had in the history. Do you realize they were going to shut it down because they didn't have enough students? Now... Now, we could have broken the record with athletics alone. We had to shut it down. We had to shut it down. So tremendous success that's happened.